Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to organize your timeline and your project folders so that you have an organized sort of system and project workflow to go through. Basically what I'm gonna be covering is the colors over here in the timeline, the different labels, and then creating different bins and changing the colors over here as well. So let's get started. First off, let's just go ahead and delete all of this. Let's start over from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control A over here so that I select everything delete it out, and let's just import some footage into our file, uh, into our project here. So if I click here and I click import, maybe hold shift and just import everything between these two files, you'll see that I have a bunch of different footage here. And I have a lot of this iris color and then one of this green color. And that's because Adobe Premiere Pro has default colors. So if you have a movie, it's gonna choose iris color. And if you have audio, it's gonna choose this green, I think it's called it forest color. And you can actually see this by going up into edit, preferences and then down to label defaults and you'll see right here we have the label defaults and it has these names so for example all movie all movies are iris and if we go up to label colors it'll actually tell us what these are so you can see iris is this color which is the default um, and then we have this audio file down here and you see that audio is caribbean as you can see that is the caribbean color right here now what's really neat about this is we can change the defaults if we don't like the default colors so if instead we want all video to become rows we can click rows and anytime we import video it's going to change them all to rows um, in label colors we can change the colors around so if we don't want this color scheme we can change it around so let's say we don't want this mango we want it to be a deep red and we want to name it fire with caps lock on fire so that's, that's now a new name. So we go into label defaults and we could say that, um, so all bins are gonna be fire now instead of mango. So you know we can, we can change this around and we can really customize it. So just understand that these two things are here and this is completely and totally customizable. Now then, once we get back into here, we can click and we can drag one of these pieces over here. And you see that it is the typical color that Premiere Pro has for a very long time kept. Um, for video, which is a combination of video and audio, it calls it a movie. It chooses it as iris, and then if we throw some audio in here, you have this color down here. But sometimes we want to break this up even further. Maybe we have VFX shots, maybe we want to have um, GoPro shots and DSLR shots color-coded. So we can actually manipulate the colors within uh, Premiere right here to change it around how we want it to be. So it's going to import and it's going to change the colors based on those defaults. However, we can change the colors how we want them so that we can create a timeline that reflects how we're editing. So if I go over here, let's just get some organization going. Let's, let me create this new bin folder and I'm going to name this um, DSLR footage. And you see it's already the common red, that fire that we created because that's now our new default. And now I can go in here and I can click all of this footage right here and move it to DSLR footage. But let's say these last two are, for all intents and purposes, GoPro footage. So we're going to touch that in a little while. So I can click on these, drag them up to the bin here. And now it's organized where if I want to see my DSLR footage, I can click it and open it up. If I don't, I can just go ahead and hide it. Over here in this view, it's the exact same. It's a little folder right here. And if you double click it, it'll open it up here so you can see it. Otherwise, it's hidden from view. Another cool fact from this is if I double click this image right here, it does the exact same thing. And I have the list or this view and I can actually drag it. Let's say I have a second screen on the right over here. I could drag them all out here. So I have like eight different bins all open with the different sort of uh, organization. So just another way of looking at your footage. So let's go ahead and create ourselves another bin and let's name this one GoPro footage. So we have two, we'll take these two files that we deemed GoPro footage, and we'll drag it into the GoPro footage right here. But now they're both the same color, and you'll see that the iris, uh, they're all still this iris color. So if we drag them over here, they're all still this default color. To change that, we can actually just click on it, hold shift, so that we select all of them from this to this element. Um, so for example, down here, if I click this first one, hold shift, and click the last one, it'll select all of them down here. So we're just gonna select all of them right here. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna go to label. And right here, we can change the colors around. So for example, we can change this top folder to, I don't even know how to say that word. Uh, let's try Surlion, Surlion, sure. I know I butchered that. Um, we're gonna show which is this lighter blue sort of color. And then down here, we're gonna right click on this and we are going to choose, let's go violet for these. So our DLSLR footage is now purple and our GoPro footage is now this color. And you see that it hasn't changed it because it only works once you change it when you drag it in. 
So these will still be the same color, but now if I drag this one in, we have this piece of purple footage. And if I drag this top one in, we have this piece of light blue footage. And so now you can quickly see what is your GoPro footage and what is your DSLR footage. And then if we want to organize this even more, we can go ahead and just right click on this label up here for the GoPro and we can change it to that color as well. And we can right click on the DSLR footage and we can change it to a violet as well. And now we have these two bins that are color coded with our footage in different areas and we can start creating this edit that actually shows us the color coordination within the timeline itself. And so at a quick glance, we can look at this and we can figure out what footage is what um, and sort of manipulate it on that. And this is actually really important to do with audio. So for example, your soundtrack might be this green, but we could choose um, another color for, for example, the sound effects like the folly and stuff like that within the footage so that when we look at it we can see what parts are musical and what parts are the foley and we can look at the layers to like let's say we wanted to have the um, this layer right here changed around we can actually look at it quickly and be like oh that's a foley track there's a bunch of different foley in here we can lower the audio of that as a whole so it's just really nice to get into this habit of organizing your footage over here and then color coordinating it it for a process that works best with you. Then when you look at your footage, it'll look clean, it'll look organized, and you'll understand where to make edits and how to make edits really, really fast. That is basically it on this tutorial. Um, so yeah, basically what we just went over was just how to work with the labels and then how to work with bins and then color coordinate everything so it works best with your footage. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And yeah, until next time guys, see ya.